Ledger short on the three. John Butler, Barat Ramnanan, and Charles Rubia are our three officials for tonight's contest. First quarter scoreboard brought to you by Central Kia. Spurs play at a very controlled pace. Five on the shot clock, and the jumper is knocked down by Caddy Lalane. And the Spurs start the scoring. They rule it a three. It will be constant for the Legends, even during this four-game losing streak. The unselfish point guard who still goes and gets you 20 and 30 points in a game. You mentioned Lalane's size as the tallest player on the court right now for the Spurs. Uh, Caddy Lalane checks in at just 6'9". Johnson spinning to the free throw line. Back rims it, but Lalane the offensive board. Second chance he gets it to go. Offensive board. Second chance he gets it to go. Fish, I'd like to assure you that the Legends won't lose by 56 tonight. At least I would feel very comfortable offering up that opinion. Well, one of the themes of the last couple nights is the absence of uncontested buckets, the absence of easy layups, the absence of puppies. You just saw there the Legends' covering theme tonight. The overseas teams would like to give some money to and drag them away too. And Texas Legends are about as close as you get to the NBA dream without actually realizing it. Yeah, he spent time playing overseas. He's been there and done that. It's the NBA game that's evaded him so far. Sykes misses the three-point attempt, and here's Pledger. One of the newest legends, but no longer the newest. Trying to take it. Here's Pledger. One of the newest legends, but no longer the newest. Trying to take it coast to coast, and he does take it coast to coast. He hasn't done much of that in his short stint here, but if he can add the ability to take it to the rim, boy, this team could use it. Washburn. Sykes. Thomas steps, and the turnover gives it to the Legends. Us throughout the broadcast by tweeting questions to the Twitter handle, at Texas Legends. Literally to acquire Cam Griffin, we made a call to his agent. He was in the available player pool, and within a matter of 24 hours, he was on his way to physicals at the doctor's office and to put on a Legends uniform for shoot-around this morning. So a uh, pretty easy process. If he's in the available player, pool, available player pool, it takes 24 hours or less to activate a player. But beyond that, uh, you, you can make trades, as the Legends did when they brought Manny Harris here from the Defenders. You're in for R.J. Choppy tonight, who's uh, he's not vacationing and, I mean, working at the Super Bowl anymore, but now he's vacationing at Fan Bowl tonight in Dallas with 105 through the fan. I'll be there later. Stop on by. Thomas, heel on the line, and he knocks down the straightaway J. Yeah, that party's at Dave & Buster's in Dallas, by the way, and it's... It's paper football, which is really just, a, he's in the house tonight with a big group, about 20 folks, and uh, our man Tony Fisher celebrating his come back with them leading by three. There was a bucket knocked down by Cody, uh, Caddy Lalane earlier in the game. They ruled it a three initially reviewed, and it is now a two-point bucket. So that works out for the Legends. Thomas hoists up a three. He's short, almost followed up and thrown down there by Julian Washburn, but he's unable to convert. Oh, man. The Legends are leading by six. We didn't get to say this at all last night as they lost by 56. And if you start gauging points in the paint at this early stage, thumbs up, thumbs up, and thumbs up for Texas. The Spurs with seven on the shot clock. Meticulously developing their offense, and it's intercepted by Holloway. Trying to take it coast to coast, right-handed land, goaltending, and one must acknowledge the Supreme to hold public office. Not done on that illegal defensive play. Legends shooting 73% or just about early on. And that's layups. Defense creating some offense right there, Fish. Well, and, and if you do film study, and I know Two Holloway does, you, you get a sense of what Austin's trying to do. And so you can kind of anticipate passing lanes, and that's what he did on that last offensive thrust. Points for the Spurs pacing the way for them to Holloway leading the Legends with nine. Murray will shake, stop, delivering it to Ashley. Try to spin the lane off the glass, but Lane protecting the rim. 
alter the shot. Sykes, who does a nice job penetrating. That's one of his strengths. Didn't get the layup to go there, but created a second chance opportunity. And Deshaun Thomas cleans up the trap. And they've done this this week a little bit more than usual. Two doesn't always bring the ball up the floor. He carries such a load here that they'll spread that burden out and then get it across half court, and then he'll initiate the offense. Thomas. Washburn left all alone, and he knocks down the trifecta. We are even at 21, thanks to the long ball for the spring. And he's leading the Legends tonight, now with 11, thanks to that free throw. Don't think I haven't attended a million kid soccer games while reading the morning newspaper and cutting up orange slices. Were you the team parent that would provide the orange slices after the game? I was that kind of guy, yeah. And Doye with the right hand hooking it in off the window. I don't know that he could do that again. Kind of looked like he just threw it up there. <laughs> Demetri McKay be into the game for the first time. I'll argue that if you're trying to value every possession, two would probably like that one back. And Doye, elbow, back rim, and right with the rebound. Fresh 24 for the Spurs. They play at the slowest pace yep. in the D-League. 96 possessions per 48 minutes. But not plotting. It's methodical. There you see one of the few crowd on hand there. And he just got beat by a million. But this isn't that. This is a Legends team that wants to secure a playoff berth and wants to be as good as what Austin is in terms of consistent contention. Year-long contention. And Doye taking it to sing and finishing off the window. And taking my challenge. Indeed. To do some things offensively, good for him. Victory because of actual game one. So the Legends, if they want to call this a rivalry, could certainly use a victory tonight to help legitimize that competition. Yeah, let's not make it losing 14 out of 16, shall we? Okay. By the way, you mentioned the Mavs Maniacs, who in addition to being lovely and talented and being a riot, we did our uh, party at the Maverick Bar, our one-year anniversary party, with 105 through the fan, and Maniacs really, really dare steal. Too risque. I've seen some try to emulate, but it's just not the same. <laughs> not quite. No, the Mavs Maniacs, I remember I was at the very first game they debuted, and it was a riot. McCamey and Parks Jr. hit the hit. McCamey stays on his feet and he finishes with a layup. Parks is sliding along the floor and looking at the referee at the same time. That's part of the deal. Brandon Ashley is beside him. He's on offense. You're down 10 points and you've struggled to score here. But defense can do it just as well. Tough though when now both of your all-stars are off the court, Michael Eric won't be playing at all tonight. Brandon Ashley saddled with three early fouls after that in frack sets with Jamil Wilson. It worked that time. Up by McCamey. Corner kick, Parks back to Murray. Nine on the shot clock. Puts it up short, but Parks soars in for the rebound. Pledger, second chance, in and out. Legends have missed 10 straight shots. What do we have here? Offensive foul. To, to emphasize this, and I don't want to sound like Bob Ortigle here, but for you young kids at home, you know how Bob will. And for this Legends team, the ability to get stops and get rebounds allows them to get out in transition. They like to run. Defense helps them play to their offensive strengths. McCamey, in and out, rebound, grab by Thomas. Fresh 24, let's. Send it over to Travis Blakely, third member of our broadcast team. Travis. Legends come up with that third straight stop that you've been talking about there, Fish. That's also their third straight defensive possession. Bill Wilson is manning the middle since the Legends do appear to be shorthanded in regards to bigs. So. Yeah, and that's a good observation, and that may have been what Parks and Wilson were discussing, making sure they were on that same page. Good point, Travis. Travis always with gems. What, what is it? What's pink? What piece of jewelry is pink? Pink night here, so what is it a gem, a ruby? Ruby's red. In the movies, 
it was a diamond. Topaz? Called the pink pants versus defense. Is that better than the Leslie Nielsen version? Uh, Steve Martin Steve version. Martin version. Steve Martin version. Terrible. We just saw Patrick Miller at the free throw line. Andy wants to know at Texas Legends on Twitter, what does the coaching staff see in Patrick Miller? And what have they seen over the last 10 games? Travis, what are your thoughts on Patrick Miller? Patrick's had a lot of opportunity since the departure of... Uh, Patrick Miller. Patrick's had a lot of opportunity since the departure of... Uh, uh, forgive me, uh, LA Defenders Manny Harris that we traded for. Once Manny took off, Pat's minutes increased, and he's had an opportunity to grow as a point guard, as well as a player who can step in and play alongside Ture Murray and Two Holloway, uh, and just kind of fill any one of the guard spots on the perimeter. So opportunity is given. And he'll say, oh no, it's just an opportunity. It's not tough times, it's an opportunity. And Miller is certainly built. Play alongside Ture Murray and Two Holloway, uh, and just kind of fill any one of the guard spots on the perimeter. So opportunity is given. And he'll say, oh, no, it's just an opportunity. It's not tough times. It's an opportunity. And Miller is certainly built to take advantage of that. Lillane, long on his baseline jump shot attempt. The legends can make a run here. Pledger starts. Now the, the target is eyeable. And boy, was that not the case last night. But I know we promised to, I promised to flush it, and you promised to what? Not even remember it? Well, that's what Nick Van Exel <laughs> said, yeah. I asked him about it, went to talk to him before the game, and I said, Nick, and I was very. Let's let Austin keep the ball. And they'll keep it with 10 on the shot clock. Sykes guarded by Miller. Inside the three. Flush it, and you promised to what? Not even remember it? Well, that's what Nick Van Exel <laughs> said, yeah. <laughs> I asked him about it, went to talk to him before the game, and I said, Nick, and I was very... Let's let Austin keep the ball. And they'll keep it with 10 on the shot clock. Sykes guarded by Miller. Inside the three-point line, and he knocks it down. He found a little seam there where the legends had an I got him, you got him, no Austin feed from two. Well, was Sykes. 5'11", competing in the dunk contest, and we see the athleticism, and more than that, we see the explosiveness when he takes it to the hoop. I really like Kiefer Sykes' game. Thomas has it stripped away. Wilson's got it. Holloway lines up for a three, hits the three. Six-point game, the legends. Inch Wilson is no dummy. We, we've been yelling this at these games for five years. When I say we, I mean me. Find a guard when there's a break opportunity. And so many times, a guy, because he's been able to be a good ball handler at every level, if you're a six foot nine guy, you were a good ball handler in high school, almost certainly. So a lot of guys, they want to take it up themselves, but boy, Wilson was basketball genius right there. Find two Holloway, let him handle it. Run into each other. 10 on the shot clock, the legends really haven't got into anything offensively. Seven, Holloway out to Wilson, he's alone. And the three planks out. That was a good look, even though the Legends were really late to start something offensively. Yeah, two's inside out there with a vacuum that took defenders inside. Too bad Wilson wasn't able to knock down. Inaugural season six years ago. And this comeback erasing what at one time, what at one time was a 20 to two run for Austin and the two were on free throws. A lot of credit will go been a little zone, been a little man, and been a little more physical too. You see two Holloway getting, uh, getting knocked around there and getting caught for it. Thomas can't finish after receiving the ball in the short corner. Here come the legends after a stop. Into their secondary off. He sucks the defense with him, and Wilson, who sets a high screen, is wide open at the three-point line on the perimeter. Nick Johnson with the basketball, 10 on the shot clock. And Goye in traffic, and he gets fouled. Just barreling down the lane. And it has four double-doubles this year. That's twice now that Tu Holloway has read the direction of the Austin offense and played that passing lane beautifully. Yeah, Pledger with the nice steal, getting it up to Holloway. He dished it to Miller. Nine on the shot clock. 
Nick Johnson around it in Doye screen. Three on the shot clock. Thomas open, corner jumper. And he's short on it. Here committed by the Spurs. Murray, Pledger to tie. And he can't get it to go. Steven Pledger tonight from behind the arc. And he's struggling again, one of four. I'm going to argue, by the way, that those ten turnovers aren't just committed by the Spurs. Forced They've by been, the legend. Yeah, I, I really think that. Miller to a trailing Wilson. They by the legend. Yeah, I, I really think that. Miller to a trailing Wilson. Right down the shoot. One-handed. And Nick Van Axel throws his hands up with his palms facing the sky, asking, why can't we do that more often? <laughs> and McCamey takes it right back to Wilson, laying it up. The layup and the dunk count the same. Three-point lead still, but here's Miller. And we see Fish, the left out in transition, even on a made bucket, technically not transition, but getting the ball up the floor quickly, that works to their advantage. And then uncontested layups, uncontested buckets. Something that's really been a problem here this week for him in its absence. It's a one-point game. Murray with the deflection, Holloway secures the steal. And he's fouled by McCamey. And we've got an offensive foul, setting it back the other way. Lillane swinging it to Washburn. Three-pointer for the lead, and he hits it. Quickly up ahead, Holloway. Cut off by Sykes, backing him back. And I'll give it back to the Spurs. Is it fluky that the Spurs would just three points a game? But this is a very good three-point shooting team. Second in the lead coming into tonight, shooting 40% or thereabout. McCamey splitting defenders, but he can't finish. Here comes Miller. Murray, even to back up. He's short on the three. Get five men back now. 35 seconds left in the half. Legends looking for a defensive stop to keep this a one possession game. Nine on the shot clock. Thomas to Lillane. Rejected by Wilson. Big time defense there for the Marquette product. And the Legends can hold for the final. And Murray the steal at the buzzer. Oh, just offline. Defense, defense, defense. A great end to the first half for the Legends. They trail by one, but this half included a 20. As the Legends have had all season long. As we start the second half of action. Scoreboard brought to you by the fine folks at Dr. Pepper. Eber Sykes misses the up and under layup. And the Legends with a chance to take their first lead since the first. Murray working it down low to Ashley. He gets doubled. Skip pass, Pledger. Here's Holloway, five on the shot clock. Takes it to the hoop, leaning back a high archer. He can't get it, yeah. Lillane snags the board. Two looked at the shot clock and thought, do we have time to just reset the whole thing? Realized there was only six seconds left. So did what he could with the possession. Another defensive stop for the Legends to start the half. Up there. The lob, Ashley fought away. Oh, just out. Bill Russell so good at Blocking shots to teammates, not just sending it seven rows into the crowd when he well, had the ability not to. And that dopey RJ Choppy and I argue about this all the time. He says, yeah, but what about the, the great momentum lift you get from slapping it into the 12th row? If you believe in that sort of thing. Well, Choppy will be back here. Seven rows into the crowd when he well, had the ability not to. And that dopey RJ Choppy and I argue about this all the time. He says, yeah, but what about the, the great momentum lift you get from slapping it into the 12th row. If you believe in that sort of thing. Well, Choppy will be back here soon enough, and we'll we'll put up with it. Sykes in the foul. Bucket at a chance for another with the free throw attempt on its way. Now, Jared, that uh, slam dunk gives us some cats. Arizona Wildcats. And there's only one Buckeye. Ashley rattles it home. That one from three-point land, and 
and cuts the Spurs lead in half. If you, if you want to measure the desire of Nick Van Exel to get this game and get the four-game losing streak behind them and get up in the standings at Austin, he's even complete the four-game losing streak behind them and get up in the standings at Austin. He's even complaining after the made bucket by the legends. He, he wants more. He wants better. Spurs with numbers. Thomas, Washburn, can't get it to go. Good defense by Murray. He was the only one there. Ashley taking to the hoop, and we've got a charge. Johnson knocks down the free throw. Yeah. Now, we encourage you to get interactive with us here on the broadcast by tweeting questions to the Texas Legends Twitter account, at Texas Legends. We got a question from Danny Fish, and Danny wants to know, Brandon Ashley made the D-League prospect watch. What does he bring to an NBA roster? Well, he's got to get older. He is a baby. He's just a kid. And it could mean playoff positioning. It could mean just getting into the playoffs, looking at their schedule, their final home game, April 1st, against the Oklahoma City Blue. And they'll close out their season against these very Austin Spurs in Austin the very next day. Legends coming out of the timeout in a zone, getting a stop on the first effort, but the Spurs will get a second chance with the rebound knocked out of bounds off. Legends coming out of the timeout in a zone, getting a stop on the first effort, but the Spurs will get a second chance with the rebound knocked out of bounds off. Years I've obviously grown to know Texas Legends folks pretty well. They pour their hearts into this thing. This staff is incredibly talented and the work ethic is unmatched and to have not just the players but to have everybody involved in this organization work ethic is unmatched and to have not just the players but to have everybody involved in this organization is a tough assignment against arguably the best rebounding team in the d league based on certain metrics and rebounding allowing the spurs to keep possession here thomas a skip pass Jamie fakes, Johnson into the lane, craftily getting his way to the cup and on a second effort on this particular possession, he finishes. Three ball and he rattles it home. And Chappie is, he's the kind of guy that would walk him. He, he would wear it every day. And show it off. I guess if you got it, flaunt it, right? And let kids and women try it on. <laughs> <laughs> He'll sit at a booth and for a kiss on the cheek, you can try on the ring, right? Sykes with a little English, but Thomas puts it back with the left hand. I couldn't quite tell, and I mean this honestly, if he was lamenting with those on the Spurs bench that the referees just weren't making consistent calls, or if he was maybe telling those on the Spurs bench to quiet down. It's, <laughs> it's time for their silent, their, their reading voices, their library voices. Thomas, left hand to the cup. Sean Thomas with 12 points. Wilson, straight library voices. <laughs> Thomas, left hand to the cup. Sean Thomas with 12 points. Wilson, straight away, trailing three, back rim. McCamey, a lead pass, Lillane behind the defense. Can't get the layup, but does get the foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. That's not really the Spurs bag right there. You have to figure out whether or not you want to take Van Exel or any D-League coach. Yeah, you're, you're saying if I can hit in the double-A level in baseball in Southern California, I can hit in the double-A level in South Carolina. Well, listen, if you get called up from double-A to triple-A, when you step in the box, you know that you're just going to do what you've been doing for a long time. But right. when you get called from the Mongolian League to the Legends, you've got to know what they do on offense. You've right. got to know the flow offense. You've got to know set plays around because he was stealing someone else's seat. We'll let him get settled. <laughs> He's sitting in his spot. Travis, your thoughts, obviously, you're involved in the adding and subtracting of players. Lack of practice times this, uh, this time of year in the season leads to pretty much film and shoot-around opportunities to get guys caught up, and it just doesn't always translate immediately to game action. So. You know, uh, hats off to Stephen Pledger, who... Get it, Travis. 
Now, John Thomas Frank. on the line for the Spurs. And switchable because his ability to guard multiple positions on defense and fill a variety of roles offensively. And the legends have seen Jameel Wilson have that type of an impact this year. 17 points and eight rebounds for Wilson tonight to go along with three assists after making both those free throws. Washburn backing down Griffin and short on the fall away, but Thomas the offensive rebound. Second chance, can't get it to go. Well, Thomas is the chance. Over to you. Thanks, Travis. Thanks, Coach. Fourth quarter underway. Washburn, corner three. Offline, but a second chance opportunity created by the Lillane rebound. And Doye working with Wilson on his back. A lot of contact, and the whistle blows. By the way, regarding the zone defense, Coach is right about it in his discussion with Travis Blakely. But a smart team, and Austin is that, can find holes in it, seams in it. it. Seems like the zone defense can work in spurts, but it can't work over the course of a game at this level. McCamey with a hand in his face sinks the three. Yeah, for one thing, because I can shoot over it. I can also go get over the course of a game at this level. McCamey with a hand in his face sinks the three. Yeah, for one thing, because I can shoot over it. I can also go get mismatches easier. It's kind of like, to use a baseball analogy, you can't throw a changeup. The changeup can't be your out pitch. Because I know a changeup is coming. I'm gonna hit it 450 feet. Would that be long enough to get it out of here? 450. Feet. Lays it in with his left. It's unorthodox, but the legends are benefiting from little Patrick Wilson doing inside work. Patrick Miller, I'm sorry. Nick Carlisle, Patrick Wilson. That's and then what did we do the other night when I was doing Travis Frederick on the sideline? Remember that one? If you get the last name Cuban, you probably have a push. How do the D-League playoffs work? Well, after uh, all those compliments, I'm, I'm, I'm tickled pink over here, Coach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but our, uh, I'm sorry, Jared, if you would repeat that question, you guys were breaking up on yeah, me a little bit. Yeah, uh, Roberta wants to know, with the Legends making a playoff push, how exactly do the D-League playoffs work? Oh, well, it's a unique situation because only four teams from each division, or each conference, rather, the East and the West are selected. Right now, the selected right now the, the legends chasing the Austin Spurs who if the season would end today would hold one of the two automatic spots in the Western Conference and the legends essentially fighting for a wild card spots the lane rocking to the hoop Thomas one on the shot clock and he gets the baseline jumper he's the troublemaker and you've got to stick with him he sets a screen high then goes to the right side sets another the Ashley call Loose ball, who's gonna get it? Holloway gets dirty, but unfortunately not rewarded. But you love the lane, nearly 35 minutes leading the team. 22 points for Holloway leading the team as well. Yeah, that, that was almost a secondary break off a of baseline inbounds, full court. That is Wilson knocks it down, four point game. And in that four game streak, no singular pattern. Maybe a loss on the road because Michael Eric had the high ankle sprain. Uh, then you lost in double overtime to Iowa. Then you lost by a million points last night. There, there is not a singular problem. And that in itself is a whole other problem. Lillane gets fouled. Now one of the challenges for the defender against you as the former guy was against you. And maybe these Spurs could do some of that as well with this group. And maybe that's one of the reasons our record is as good as it is. Three-point game. Johnson with 10 on the clock. Around Watch the Thomas. Thomas screen. Yeah. Rolling, spinning, laying it in. Are you sick of me saying it? That's the guy. I think Nick Van Exel is probably sick of thinking about it. Thinking about it. Pledger, three ball. He hits it. It's a two-point game, Fish, with... Everything that has seemingly worked in favor of the Spurs, yeah. the legends are hanging around. Watch 23 now. He's got the ball and gives it up, but 
Here he comes. I think he's going to get it back. <laughs> and he passes it to no one. And with 5.59 to go, we'll have a break in the act. You've milked all you're going to milk out of the newcomer Griffin tonight. Spogging on his feet, to able to scoop it in. Can't get the free throw, though, and that elusive lead <laughs> remains just that elusive. Yeah, if the, if the uh, category is can you muscle your way to the basket as a little guy, relatively, uh, yeah, he can muscle. Turnover, traveling, 5.32 to go, and if the Legends could take the lead, they're just dying. Not their responsibility to pump you up. Pleasure for the lead. It's your responsibility to do that, and it boomerangs back to you. Legends up by three. First lead since they were ahead 21-18. Sites, corner three, and we are tied back up. Nick Van Exel wanted a three seconds. Tell you what, Fish, this is more fun than losing by 56, I'll tell you that. Well, this looks like a team that thinks we really do deserve to be in the playoffs. Let's work to get there. Sykes, back rim. Thomas keeps it alive. There's Sykes in the lane, and he gets it to go. That's 22 for Kiefer Sykes. And that came against Idaho. He's got 19 with that, and the Legends back out to a three-point lead. Johnson to Thomas. 10 on the shot clock. The lane, corner three, and we're tied. Caddy Lalane with points 20 20. Legends! Timeout, Austin! The two Holloway show. The Legends are led in scoring by Jameel Wilson with 25, two Holloway with 22, and then it's Miller with 19. Spurs with the ball out of the timeout. Johnson and Wilson collide, and a block is called on the moving Wilson as he was bulldozed. Yeah, initially, I thought that he may have been hit in a And the scoop! Well, there's been a handful of times tonight when Pledger, who by reputation is a three-point marksman, has taken it to the hole. A big benefit for the Legends. Now up five. They finished third in career three-pointers at OU, but he's done it inside the three-point line tonight. He's got 18 points for the Legends. Austin sneaks baseline there. That's a no-no. On how do you get that one to go? And we got a 30-second timeout called by the Spurs. And you know, Fish, you meant asking him to now go shoot a bunch of jump shots. That's not going to fly. Legend shooting 75% this quarter. Keeper Sykes can't get it to go. But Johnson on the second effort gets it to fall. It stays a three-point game. 58. Now this time, Jamil Wilson says, I'll take it myself. I'll do my regular roll. You see that? Miller. Spinning in the mid-range J. Wilson set the screen, but Miller did the dirty work down low. Nice bounce pass from Johnson to Lalane, but Lalane couldn't hang. And with 80 ticks left, the Legends lead by four. And with 80 ticks left, the Legends lead by five. A great fourth quarter so far for Patrick Miller. Can he keep it going? Just short. Johnson pushing to Sykes. The trees send him back. And it looks like Pledger and Wilson are arguing. I think and he does. It's worth noting the Spurs, the second best three-point shooting team in the league. We'll see what they do here. Johnson attacking, kicking. Washburn almost loses it. Corner three, Thomas is short. Johnson the rebound. What do we have? It's out of bounds, and it's going to be off the legend. Texas found basket. Attacking. Kicking, Washburn almost loses it. Corner three, Thomas is short. 
Johnson the rebound. What do we have? It's out of bounds, and it's going to be off the legend. Texas foul. Basket. Sykes, quick three, hits it. And they're going to review it. And because of the situation, they're going to review it on it like that. Turned into a little bit more. We'll see how the Spurs take advantage of it. They're down three, but they don't have to get a three. Lelane, pressured by Pledger. And he drops it off. No one there, but Johnson gets the deflection. Sykes, Thomas for the tie. Short, Johnson with the put back in and out, and he puts it back in a foul. A third effort.